Hey YouTube, it's Major Wales here and I am going to show you how to install all of the stuff that I have made for Train Simulator from when I started up until now and more than likely into the future. So I'm assuming you've already gone on my website and downloaded something of mine or you've downloaded some uh, something of someone else's who's gone and uh, got the same sort of install style as me. Uh, however, I'll work from the 08 revamp pack just because it's the open folder that I've got right now. So, when you've downloaded the file, it should be something kind of like this, just the zip file. Um, you may need to download 7-zip or uh, WinRAR, Win -R -R, uh, whatever you want to call it. Uh, now, both of these programs do the exact same thing. Uh, win ra win r a r whatever you want to call it um has like a trial period which is a bit annoying to have to click off all the time but seven zip is basically the same program and it's open source um but anyway uh so with the download you will get an assets folder and a readme folder or, well a readme file or you might end up getting a content folder as well uh now for the purpose of this, I shall just open up the README file and figure out what it wants us to do. So extract and place the assets folder in the Railworks folder, which is usually here, and then open up the assets folder and run the batch file included with the download. So if I open up the assets folder, you will see here I have a uh, batch file as well as a 7za.exe. Now the 7za.exe allows me to extract stuff from the .ap file. Uh, which most of um, the stuff from prior to 20, well, from like I think it's like 2013 and onwards kind of has everything inside. Uh, this just extracts the necessary files uh, to allow the reskins and revamps and stuff like that to work. So, uh, we have right here, extract and place the assets folder into the Railworks directory. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Steam. And now this is just a very, very nice little trick to be able to get you into your Railworks folder. So if I right click on uh, Train Simulator and click on Properties, I can go up to Local Files up here and I can click on Browse Local Files. This will actually just open up the exact folder that Train Simulator is installed to, which on here you can see is uh, D, Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Railworks. Now, the usual place is actually on the C drive, because that's the first drive that Windows goes from. Um, however, now that I have that folder open, I can very simply just uh, make sure I'm back in the Assets folder, uh, and just drag and drop over into Railworks. Now, when this is done, uh, it'll start copying everything over. I've already got this installed, so it'll take a bit longer. Um, but it'll pop up saying that it wants to replace some files on my PC, which may not happen for you, depending on whether you've got the woodhead installed and uh, the, uh, what was the other one, the Freightliner and EWS 08 pack, I think it was, something like that. But anyway, uh, so we've now got that installed. If I open up the Assets folder and scroll right the way down to the bottom, we will now see that my batch file is copied over. And I'm just going to double click on that. Now this will start doing a bunch of different things and it will copy lots of files. Um, it, the reason for this is because it makes the download a lot smaller and it needs to, it actually has to copy all the files over. So you can see right here, it's copied all of the Woodhead uh, Geo files, and it's also copied all of the Freightliner and EWS reskins. Um, well, the Geo files rather is the model file effectively. Now, um, as it says, press any key to continue. When I click on uh, any key, the batch file will actually just delete itself. And there we go. Now that's it done. Open up Train Sim. Have a look in your. Uh, Train sim folder and everything else and it should be there perfectly fine. I hope this video helps and I hope it allows you to have a bit more enjoyment with train sim.